Hey guys, welcome back to Fallout 76. We're up here in Managa Township. And I today's video, I've got a couple things that I really, really want to do. So I've been talking with Lewis. And Lewis was telling me that there is a... There's a couple different places I want to visit today. I don't know if I'm going to be able to find it. I've seen it a few times and I've never done it because it looks kind of difficult. Uh, but there's an event called Uranium Fever. And I think it's down here near Cranberry Bog. Um, breaching clear. Yeah, I think it's like down here. Or where was it? There's a mine somewhere. I think it's over here. I don't know exactly where it is. But there's a place. There's an event called Uranium Fever. And it has guaranteed three legendaries. And, oh my gosh, look at all these mole miners. Uh, guaranteed three legendaries. And so it's a very high value place to visit. And my goal is to get some of the stuff that Lewis has. He has some insane things. And he, he just recently got the dragon, which if you guys don't know, is a quad barrel um, black powder rifle. And it does an insane amount of damage because it's a two shot. And basically, if you don't know what two shot is, it's like double the damage. And then not only that, but uh, he also has a crazy shotgun that I would love to get a shotgun like his. And uh, the two shot, and, like too bad it's not an instigating one. If you don't know what instigating ones are, those things are even more insane because they deal, uh, I think, double damage to full health targets. And so where is the guy that, that's shooting me over here? Is that really who's shooting me? Double damage to full health targets. And so it's just like a massive, massive uh, damaging thing that you can potentially get. And I think his shotgun is an instigating one and it's quite amazing. And so today, I would love to be able to find Uranium Fever because that's where he said he got the dragon from, and I want I want to get something like that. Now I don't know if it is level locked. Like if you know I'm level 40, if I'm not going to be able to get that until a, a higher level or whatever, uh, I hope that I can. But I'm not entirely 100% sure if I'm able to. And so then, not only that, but uh, I'm running low on caps, and it was because I moved my base because I was. I got my base got attacked by some noob who just like destroyed it and so unfortunately I lost a lot of things well I didn't lose anything actually and so what I want to do actually today is potentially I'm getting all this stuff because there is a there's a nice uh, there's a bench I can use right around here but I came here because I was walking by and I heard this guy and I'm gonna get that silo alpha cold there part three Maybe we can get enough. We can nuke some stuff. What I want to do today, there's also another place that I would like to visit. I'm short on caps. And so what I want to do is I would like to go down to the insane asylum. Because apparently you can pick up the, right here it is, Fort Defiance uh, Insane Asylum. You can pick up street jackets there that are worth an insane amount of money. They're like 30 caps apiece and they're everywhere, Lewis said. And so I'm going to head down there. And that's my goal today is to make a lot of money and potentially find some high level legendary stuff. Let's do it. At Fort Defiance, this place is loaded apparently with some really good stuff. Now, if you remember, I don't I think I did it in a video. Uh, Lewis and I came down here and we were doing a an event that happens down here where it's like a bro uh, I, you you activate a Sam, you defend it against a scorched beast. Um, and uh, this place isn't. This place is really creepy. Apparently, I think this is a real place, actually. Yeah, things down. We could repair it and let it shoot up everything for us. A creep around here. Now I am still, you know, I'm I'm kind of under leveled for some of the things that are around here. But the good thing is, is that if you fight things that are about, actually, I think they might be level 40 or so. If you fight things that are about 10 to 15 levels higher than you, um, that's the best for XP. All right, here we go inside. I've actually only came in here for like a split second with Lewis when I was running away from something and then I died like immediately because I was like 40 levels under leveled. And so it was quite the experience. And if you don't remember, I think I think it was in a video. Maybe it wasn't though, but uh, we, had quite a, we had quite the time. So I've actually never really been in here. We're gonna get our, I haven't been using my, my death claw gauntlet. I have a uh, death tambo, which I really want to use because it's 10 pounds lighter. 10 pounds lighter than this thing. And so, 
If I can get to level 45, I'll be able to use that. Purified water. Look at this. There's so many different areas to go down. Ooh, toy truck. Nice. Actually, I, I think the toy trucks don't give you what toy cars give you. That's... Ah, oh, here we go. Straight jacket. Okay. Now, the only question is, where, th where is the nearest vendor? I should have brought my power armor. I was going to bring my power armor, and I forgot to do it. Because I think I stashed it, didn't I? Ah, oh, it did. That's what I wanted to bring, so I could carry tons of stuff. Fail. It's all right. Oh, I think we've reached a whole new wing here. I jumped up through the bathroom. This looks like this area is where there's more... Oh, nice. Look at this jackpot here. As long as we can find a, uh, actually find a, like a bench to break this stuff down. Duct tape. Yeah, this looks like a whole actual wing here. Still no straight jackets. I might have to hop servers because I don't know if this place has been. There's one. I'm, did I almost miss that? I almost missed that. I don't know if this place has been looted already. Because it kind of looks like it has. Let's keep looking. I think this place is massive though. So there could be all kinds of rooms. But they sell for 30 caps a piece. So it's well worth us taking our time. And making sure we search everything. So we don't miss anything. Apparently the combat knife. Is one of the best weapons in game. Because you can get a perk that restores your health and then if you couple that with the perk that makes you swing your melee weapons faster 30 percent faster you can basically heal by just swinging your your weapon in the air you don't even have to attack anything and so you like never die it's an extremely extremely op thing apparently in game right now also there's a glitch where if you equip pocketed stuff very quickly which I do have one but it's level 50 if you equip it a bunch un equip it and unequip it very fast a bunch of times it will uh, allow you to have negative it'll, your your weight will go negative and it will allow you to carry anything like infinitely huh I actually need brotherhood of steel stuff it says Please scan valid U.S. military ID to register for Brotherhood of Steel. So it's not, uh, it's not being a worker. I need to be, I need to be a Brotherhood of, I need a Brotherhood of Steel ID. Huh. So, I can't get through there until I get an ID, and I don't know where to get an ID. What's my weight at? 216. I'm, I'm being weighed down by some stuff here. Uh, so there's a vendor in Watoga, and so that's where we're gonna head, I think. There's actually two vendors in Watoga. There's a Brotherhood of Steel one, and then there's another one. And so we're just gonna head to one. I, I had a bunch of missiles on me, actually, and that's why. I don't carry missiles, because they weigh too much. Uh, and if I would've just brought my freaking excavator power armor, I wouldn't have a problem. So, I do not know where at in this place the vendor is, but I am pretty close by. I think he's in the shopping, the shock, shopping plaza. I'm gonna stay stealth because this place is loaded. Oh, is he right here? Hey, what up, man? Yay! Okay. So let's see if we sell these. How much? 25? 100. Yep. So sweet. It was worth it. And if I guess if we server hopped, you could get even more. So that's uh, that's pretty useful. All right. So I do want to show you where my I want to show you my new base because I I did move my base. And uh, you, at first, people are gonna be like, "Dude, I hate the look of it because it's asymmetrical." Blah, look at it. Uh, but the, guys, I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get like a hell of a neighbor house. It's gonna be really freaking awesome when it's all said and done. Uh, I, I I had the idea last night because I was like, "Well, I like the way that it looks because it's asymmetrical and uh, it's quite interesting the way it is." So these things, uh, actually, how much do these cost? How much energy do these take? I might be able to put, uh, I don't know, do my, is my budget full? I did hit level 40, maybe I get more budget now. Let's see, cause I, 
I wonder if I can put another one of these down. Because I would love to be able to get more than that. Uh, where's food and water? Yeah, let's see if we can. They cost eight. Produces 12 an hour. That's a lie. It's a straight up fat lie. Uh, we can always scrap it if it's not going to work, obviously. I don't think it's enough. I think it's enough power. We did that. Yeah, it's not enough. We need another generator, I think. That's okay. Uh, I'm up here by Seneca. I'm on top of the mountain, basically. Uh, because I got sick and tired of running into people. And I wanted a central location. We could just make a large generator, but whatever. It's okay. I want to put it on the foundation so I can hook it all together. Ghetto, but it works. There we go. Now we got power. <laughs> oh, what's the tool man Taylor thing? I can't do it. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to make this thing asymmetrical. Let's, uh, I wish, can you, I can, oh yeah, I can overwrite. We'll hold the blueprint, select the whole structure, and then we're going to create it, and we're going to, uh, we're going to call this one, Hello Neighbor House. Yeah, there we go. So that way we can rebuild it. And I built it, the reason why I built it, uh, like, small at the bottom, is so that I can easily place it down, because one of the biggest problems with putting down a base is that once you put down once you put down a big base it's really hard to put it down again because of the way it's uh, like designed essentially and so oh gosh dang it so it's just full all the time it's so annoying oh yeah let's get our let's get our power power armor out of there all right let me just show you the upstairs because there's not a lot going on out here so it's just kind of basic here, but I'm gonna put another staircase like over to here, and it's gonna be all wonky. Why aren't none of my lights working? I'm out of I'm out of power. It's not creating enough power. Or did I unhook that? Oh, I unhooked the line. Oh, that that's not that's not good. I unhooked the power line. My bad. My bad. Like, there's no lights on my there's no lights in my place. There we go, lights are on, hooray. Alright, now we can go upstairs. Now we can go inside. There we go, now we got some lights. Lights, hooray. So yeah, this is my base so far, not a lot to it. I was wondering if you can make uh ceiling turrets. I'm not sure if you can, but if you can it'd be awesome because I can put it like on the corners here and stuff. I've got turrets hidden all over the place. Uh so don't mess with me over here. But yeah, that's my that's my new base. Sweet, look at it. Here it is, guys. A uranium free fever. Protect uranium extractors while they collect valuable nuclear materials. We got it. Okay, so now we're good. I uh, actually hopped off for a bit, and then got back on, and it's good to go. So let's go ahead and hop. Actually, oh, I gotta transfer some cores over. I actually don't think I've ever done this one because I apparently uh, I've never discovered this location. So I must not have actually. What's up, guys? I'm popping right up out of my uh, spawn zone area over here. It's real nice. You dumb base. So many of them. Huh? Ah, so many of them. So this is gonna be probably a a crazy experience here. I mean, I really wish I had a, a better gun. Cause what's gonna happen is I'm gonna wind up running out of like durability most likely. Would you just yeah? There's gonna be tons of them here. Nice double barrel. I'll take that. Cause uh, gotta get the gotta get the stuff for that. I I love these things cause they have they have shotguns. It's so nice. Have we even have we even started doing this mission? I don't even think so. They're inside here? What's it? Alright, here we go. We gotta Please protect this dude. And approach yeah, what up? Identify me. Let's do some work. 
Welcome back, employee. Welcome back. One. Detection error. Have I been here before? Only I don't think so. Up. I don't. Black I don't remember you. Permitted to access. Initiate the extraction process. Scanning. Ooh, in the mine. Okay. Yeah, I can say for certain I've never done this. I thought I had, but I guess not. So I'm really hoping that that was just the above ground stuff. So there's gonna be some stuff down here, most like is there death are there death claws down here? How do I oh here we go. I was like, how do I get in here? Alright. Initialize okay. Extraction process initiated. Yo from extraction Yo. units Uranium while extracted. Protect the extractors as they extract. Hostile trespassers detected. Oh, oh, oh. Employees are encouraged to remove trespassers before damage to extractor units occurs. Whoa, he smokes glowing one. Got him. I can never find where other ones are. Oh. Don't don't ruin this mission for me now, okay? Don't ruin it for me. Oh gosh, they're down here messing this up. No! That one's just really heavily damaged. I gotta use vats more. Oh, this is not good. There's another one somewhere. Oh gosh. There's a third one. Repair extractor Charlie. Okay, it looks like I can repair it though. That's good. Oh, it's like a Oh, here we go. Here's a here's an here's a legendary. It's only a single star, but better than nothing. I gotta change parts some more. Hold on, hold on. Just stop going for torso and actually take the time to do things. Can you go? No, no, no. There we go. Adequate uranium volume extracted I, and processed. I always get Our these. I always get this stuff. I want guns. I don't want armor. I want guns over here, okay? What am I doing? Get out of that. Oh, here we go. This individual from the premises. Terminated management personnel. So then we got another... We got another legendary? Yeah, sweet. Okay, it's way better targeting the head. I don't know why I don't do it more often. I don't, take, I don't have to even... It doesn't even require that much time. So I've got a per... I've got two perks. Uh, one of them... One of them focuses... Slayer's Flamer? Interesting. They just spawned, you see that? So one of them can restore vats, and the other one like increases like the potential for critical damage. It's like a good combo. I just gotta get used to doing vats more often and targeting specific parts. Yeah, repairing is like super, super cheap. Where is he? Up here. Repair Charlie. That's over here. They do like no damage. It's actually kind of an easy mission. Low power. It'll just repair. It'll just fill up, fill this stuff up. If you have a bunch of them slotted, a bunch of core slotted, it'll just do it on its own. Don't even have to worry about it. Um, we have a two minutes. Holy crap! I don't know if it's gonna work in two minutes. So we've had two legendaries so far, right? Where? What the heck? Switch over to a new one. Take your sweet time. What's it doing? Deplete. Oh, here we go. Three star. Adequate uranium 
Suck on that. This is a problem with this low power. Usually it switches over a lot faster for me than this. I need to delete my, uh, delete my stuff more often. Do your healing already. There you go. Come on, dude. No, you're gonna die. In your dumb face. Man, this power armor is beasting. I'm beasting it up over here. Leaded leather left leg. Come on, man. 47 seconds left. Why won't it switch over to a new core? Usually it does it for me. Automatically. It's not doing it right now. Alright, I did it. Um, but the reason why it's saying low power is because I actually have no core left. And I'm really wondering if it did that because it was in VAT so much. Which I've never actually done before. And... Yeah, it used up all of the cores that I had, and I had a lot of them. And so that is very interesting. The good thing, though, is that I can just obviously uh, fast travel still. This is still not over the weight. But when you when when you run out of power core, it actually drops it down to 305 instead of 405, and so you do get dinged a little bit. All right, well, we did it. Uh, what did we get? We got some, we got a, uh, Mutant Slayer's Flamer. It's flame. I mean, that's not anything amazing. Um, did we get another weapon? No, it was all apparel. Chameleon's Robot Chess Piece. Blend with the environment while sneaking and not moving. Sneaking and not moving. That's pretty good. 202011. And it weighs 4.5. And I'm currently using this leaded butcher's raider chest piece. You know, I do a lot of stealth. So I like the idea of that. Obviously, you can't do it. And then we got this thing. Which is kind of a joke. No, Zealot's leather left arm. That's what I got, wasn't it? Yeah, I think so. So, that really sucks, man. We didn't get anything good any good weapons which just makes me so it's so annoyed because Lewis has like these amazing weapons that I just want something super awesome like he has it's not a problem though it is what it is uh, we can just do this mission again if it pops up hmm uh, I might have actually somehow s transferred them to my stash because I had some in my stash maybe maybe not though I'm not too sure but all I know is that I had more and so I'm using them well, guys, uh, I think I'm going to call it for the video right there. I do hope that you enjoyed this video. Uh, a little different, a little longer, but I hope you uh, enjoyed it nonetheless. Hope you guys are having a great day. Things are going well. I will see you in the next one.